Very nice. <laughs>final Friday in the year of the radiance my next to last recording in the year of the radiance I feel like we like sped through December but like we're we're here it's 2023 is about to be over though I feel like the whole second half of the year honestly kind of is a blur but that's kind of how it goes, admittedly. Welcome back to the final tag team episodes, uh, episode, rather, in the year of the radiance of the... Don Gone Rompa Hunger Games. I need to snatch the images for our tag team. I can just do that now. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> it's right there, so let's go ahead and grab those real quick. And we'll grab Yelon, because Yelon's in this game. Look at that real time, <laughs> real time editing. We have New Year's coming up, and you know New Year's is like the best. It's like the, well, I guess for like other countries, because like we have 4th of July, and that's like our big fireworks show. But in terms of like fireworks shows, New Year's Day is also one of those boom, bam, bop, 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 look at all those fireworks go off. Um. And so, we've got all these teams here, and they don't have fireworks, they have rocket launchers. We had to make it a little bit more dangerous, because uh, we're not liable. So, because <laughs> everyone who's here, we have Gamble Pays Off, your tag team champions, Couples Counseling, still in this, your Agents of Chaos 3's company, High Flying, Big Gremlin Energy, Flower Power, Damnation, Kid Rock, Hamtaro, Where There's Smoke, There's a Nagito and Yoimiya, and this is really her episode, let's see if she can shine. Cut above the rest. We have Mahiru. Who, you know what? I guess also needs her her thing. Get over here, hold on. More, more real-time editing. <laughs> here, go get over here, Mahiru. There you go. Pop you over here real quick. Awesome. With Snapshot. <laughs> Turncoats. Boy Sleepover. Just Monica. Poor Unfortunate Souls. True Professionals. Too Sweet. Anything for her. What I go to school for. Time and Space. Ghostbusters. I hate that hedgehog. Crystal clear. So the story goes. Stop looking. Listen. Small Companions. Hello Nurse. Pimps Mafia. Tipping the Scales. Sick Wheels. Praising. A Live Entrance. Shinyan setting off those fuses. Uh, fantastic Gymnastics. Laser Focused. And Royal Family. And... We're not going to waste a single moment here today. So we're going to immediately go in here and roll this, or not roll, hit this chaos wheel. How about I didn't jinx that by saying hit this chaos wheel, honestly? Because <laughs> I never normally say it like that. Uh, and, in terms of... That's the singles wheel. How are y'all doing today, actually? It's the last Friday. How are y'all feeling? Are you excited about the new year? I hope so. Um, it's an exciting time. Tag teams. There we go. I actually did not boost it by 5% yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, I don't want to update any of those apps. Thank you very much. And... In three, to who... A one, we don't see if this wheel hits. This one I expected to hit before the time is upon us, before finale time. That being said, Couples Counseling doesn't need to hit it, but will you be in this episode because chaos reigns? Let's find out, shall we? Boom. Yeah, yep, tag team dollars are definitely on the line. <laughs> Which do you not like more? Being ignored or ghosts? I don't like ghosts more. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Can't chicken out now. If you don't forgive me, does that mean you hate me?
Well, with all the despair I've felt so far, I've prepared myself. Fine. I'll fucking do it. You know, we still have this. No, Christmas is over. Maybe I'll rock this for a second. Phew. Ooh, where's the... Oh, oh, it's kind of twirled around inside. I hate it when it... Have you, like, tried to put on a jacket and then, like, you try to get the other side and then the, the sleeve is, like, kind of on the other side so the, the other side of the jacket kind of, like, dips, like, towards the center of your back and you're like, oh, I can't get that. That's, that's impossible. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't get a chance to wear this. Dang. When's David got to wear this? That's tragic. I should have gotten to wear this too. Um. Ho ho ho! <laughs> New Year! New Jingle Bells. Man, I love this thing. I'm glad we didn't put it away yet. Uh, hey. Technically now, it is a championship match. And, I'm sorry, the following matchup is scheduled. For one fall, I suppose, and this for the Rampa Hunger Games Tag Team Championships, and it begins right now, so make your picks first, second, and third. I will make mine as well. I will say it is a, once again, as the weeks have gone on, increased likelihood to turn face or heel, have any of those heel or face tendencies happen. Let's see if they unfold. We could see new tag team champions, but we could also see a mishmash team or a heel faction. There's a lot of things that could unfold here, and I'm kind of excited to see how it plays off. Uh, for first, I'm gonna take, actually, Big Gremlin Energy. I think they're gonna get the big win here today. For second, I think I gotta go for the Professionals, and for third, of course, I gotta go for uh, you and Mia, and where there's smoke, because that's it's kind of her episode. Let me know in the comments. What, what do I want to ask? It should probably be about fireworks. How do you feel about fireworks? I know last time I asked you, how do you feel about rice? And I went through all those, because most, the majority of people are like, rice is fine. But there's like a, a, a small, like small, small, slim majority that are like, no, no. Um, how do you feel about fireworks? Because I think that's more, like, more in the middle. Not in the middle, like 50-50, but I think it's more like, where rice is probably like, 5% maybe of people. I think fireworks might be like, I don't know, maybe like 30% of people don't like fireworks because it's just really loud. And a lot of people are like really sensitive to loud noises. I know for a while I was not a fan of fireworks because it was like, boom, okay, real loud. I think when I was a kid, I might've worn like earplugs because I did have like really sensitive ears. That being said, I do like fireworks. They're very beautiful. They're very pretty. Um, I digress though. Tell me how you feel about them in the comments. But without further ado, I think it's time we start this whole championship episode. That's not how we started here in Ordeal. This is how we started. It is time, and let's start round one and see how everything plays out, shall we? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Let's do exactly that. Let's let's go for it. I will need uh, that document of face and heels because I expect. Uh, many more heels and faces to be made today. Oh, uh, where did I put it? It's underneath my phone. That makes sense. Um, no secret team today. This is the one that we want. And let's start this bad boy out with, well, no yeet balls. Surprisingly enough, but we do have the rocket launcher being used on a whole team. Goodness gracious! Sound the horns for this championship episode. I even play along. Y'all didn't know I played the Jingle Bells. Y'all didn't know my Jingle Bells. Oh, I'm nasty with it. Uh, Desuka fires a rocket at a group of enemies that happens to be the entire team of I Hate That Hedgehog. <laughs> And now they might hate that Desahiko. Uh, Monotaro and Mika finger stuff by accident. They both plus just a little bit. Monica won't die like the others. Angie keeps trying to tell a joke, but it always falls flat. Kokichi has found a table. Hopefully nobody goes through it. Great goes and looks around for stuff to scrounge. Uh, Crazy Echo fires a rocket at Fuyiko, who gets absolutely blown to bits. Yoimiya runs to a tree and gets a splinter. 
Ouch. Jeez. Uh, Professor Layton feels like jamming out. The music in him guides him to AV soundboard. Wait, I I do need that. Noir picks up what's neat and cool lying in various places. Chisa thanks Kawakan for being there for her. Yuta gives Mew the various things he's found. Mew builds stuff out of it. And maybe that's why he fell in love with Mew. Maybe he's starting to feel that connection again. Taichi. He accepts the shadow as Taichi gains a power persona. Izio starts sobbing uncontrollably. Oh boy, Kole's got that dimensional size. She's about to go crazy with it. Jump. Fails to grasp the gravity situation. Natasha loves the way that Rock Launcher feels on her shoulder. Monodam has a table. Well, hopefully nobody goes through it. Monica puts a death call on Mikan. Toko has been has seen the heels running wild and actually turns face. A little face turned by Toko. Well, all right. Pekko twiddles her fingers, her thumbs. Uh, Abuki hates the way the comments have been uh, treating her, and she actually turned heel. The Bookster. Oh no. Uh, Togami berates uh, Zhang Li for. Uh, I'm sorry, doesn't berate him, but doesn't understand why he's searching for Dark when he can simply buy it because Zhang Li <laughs> can't afford it. Uh, Katoko finds an opportunity, but someone's quite fetching. Akane trips and fell in a bush, accidentally found, and there it is, the Yeet Ball, and Haiji steals it. Shinyang is after Shadow as Shinyang gains the power of Persona. Fubuki has been hot on Shingcho's trail for days now. Shingcho thinks he's gotten away, but Fubuki delivered the final blow after deducing his location. Klee just wants to be helpful. Mika wishes he could go home. Kamara Kyle's back on the moment she takes the Knight's Oath and dons her Knight's Armor again. Farina catches a strange glow in the corner of her eyes. She gets a ancient scepter. Oh my, how is she gonna act with that? Uh, a fool probably. <laughs> Monophony steals Haiji's Yeet Ball, runs off with it. Violet then steals Monophony's Yeet Ball. Mukuro attacks Kizakura and Tengen from behind, taking them both out of action. Panette thinks of a dark, dark poem. Kaito steals Violet's Yeet Ball and runs off with it. Zhang Li steals Kaito's Yeet Ball, now he's got it. So I'll save a laser title ball on the ground. Has Naito in a headlock, wants to hit a mean DDT, but Naito reverses it, and it's an RKO onto that title belt. Celeste is gone. Pandreo brings Angie close in for a hug before whispering in her ear, You mean nothing to me, Pandreo, then slams Angie to the ground and walks off alone. He walks alone. He's Batista. Wanderer attempts to kill Farina, but Chiaki intervenes in time. Chiaki actually kills Wanderer to protect Farina's life. Keep in mind, however, Chiaki is a master of winning when chaos reigns. I think all of her title victories have been when chaos reigns, so she's going to be one to watch, and I guess Farina by association is as well. Hook gets a fishing rod, now she can catch catch all the fish. <laughs> the clap clap, the jingle jingle. Mashu steals Zhongli's Yeet Ball. Jitsara twitches uncontrollably. Shoma tries to build a tank out of sticks and rocks. It's useless, but it looks cool. Nagito can't wait to kill again. Gundam walks into a very strange machine. He's got ghost powers as the molecules get all rearranged. Uh, he and I use a mysterious gas knockout noir and Desahiko death calls on both of them. Katoka, except for Shadows Katoka, gains a fire persona. Yelan is a cave woman. It's kind of fitting because <laughs> if you viewed the Genshin Nuzlocke this week, she was in a cave. Uh, Natsumi and Kole team up to ambush Katoko, murdering her. Hiro doesn't feel prepared for any of this, honestly. Alice knocks out Cave Yelon in a fist bites, death colors on her. Mai is tired of others and turns heel. Mai. Oh my gosh. Lamel. March 7th, uh, 7th rather, wonders if she, was, that if she was created for this very reason. It started when an alien vice what it did. chiaki has got the Omnitrix. Monica is looking for someone dumb enough to believe her. Kamakami doesn't care much for this place. Junko finds a little bikini. Mahiru finds a like, climate change remote. Mitsuru feels protected by her wealth. Iris whispers in Izioi's ear after going in for a hug that you mean nothing to me. Then slams Izioi to the ground, walks off alone. Iris is separated from Izioi. Kicked him off the team. Something inside of Munakata snaps. Munakata is now frenzied. Mew is thinking of plans to get out of here. Mikan. Tries to make her collar look fashionable, I suppose. Mondo can't take his eyes off of Mitsuru, and Kibo trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking his neck. Question mark. His his connecting head device apparatus. <laughs> Wait. Connecting head apparatus device. <laughs> his Chad. It's a sad of all moments for Eggman. Monokuma. Fuihiko, Shincho, Kizakura, Tengen, Celeste, Wanderer, Katoko, Chad, I mean Kibo. Kibo is not at all in any form, in any shape, a Chad. But I think Kibo trying to be a Chad would be hilarious to me. <laughs> 
We got 63 remaining. We had a game of 72, but it became 73 when Chaos Reign. Let's see how Chaos Reign goes, because uh, now we have a whole bunch of uh, interesting factors in play. Shall we? We shall. Next round sees... Ew! Ew, boy. Did we... Did we have my climate change remote out here? I guess we did. <laughs> Great kills the size of muscles. Masu runs his e-ball back to the cornucopia for a big touchdown, touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown. Hook is being adorable as always. Totaro tries to kill Kamara, but Kamara's night armor diverts the blow. Togami is feeling ready for tar a target practice, rather. Luckily, he finds a slingshot laying about. Time to make every pebble count. Then immediately, dazes Mondo. He made it count. You know what? Mahu misses Christmas. Uh, and sets the climate change remote to December. I mean, it is. You didn't do anything. Snow and Christmas magic fills the arena. Kamaru builds a snowman. Her snowman and her. Joe pushes Mika into an icy lake. Mika frees the solid. Uh, Hero found a table. Chisa and Abu, I'm sorry, Fubuki have an ice skating competition. Chisa absolutely dominates, earning a gold medal. Not Sumi tries to kill Joe, but Joe retaliates and kills her instead of heavy snow and wind. Causes a massive avalanche trapping and killing. Haiji, Jotaro, Izio, Yelan, Pekko, and March 7th, who has been trapped in ice before, freezing them all beneath the fallen snow. Kaito looks around for stuff to scrounge. Kawakami challenges Monikid to a duel. Kawakami bites the dust. Are you kidding? Kokichi just found a flamethrower. See if anybody gets in his way. Klee does her best to avoid Junko. Mew stands atop a tall hill before rolling a snowball down. It gains, a size, it gains size and speed, rather, crushes Mai Katoka. Junko, Hina, and Murakata in its path. I need to like it. Celeste is still in, correct? I was gonna say, it's not a new champ alert yet, but we might be getting there, because Yelan is gone. Mikan sets down a trap, and Monotaro gets caught in it. Chiaki feels sorry for Monotaro and immediately frees him, as if Mikan didn't do anything. <laughs> Angie fires a rocket launcher to a group of enemies. Kokichi and Panetta are caught in the explosion. Their whole team is out. Pandreo and Joe throw snowballs at each other. Farina. Apostles are ancient scepter, the Archon Sea Grip until in Yuta. Grant him a Dentro Vision. Mitsuru is sick of Joe being alive. A $20,000 bounty is now on Joe's head. Uh, Nagito is looking at only for himself. Akane hates the way that the comments have been treating her. And she also turns heel. Fascinating. Fubuki tries to kill Joe for the bounty, but Joe narrowly escapes. Noir murders Gundam in front of Joe. Joe rushes to help, but Gundam dies in his arms. Oh. Oh no. And there's a bounty on Joe's head. Kole slices up that dimensional scythe, spar style kicking Mikon into the despair dimension. Mikon had a horrible round today. She sat down a trap, it became useless, and then she got trapped in the despair dimension. Uh, Toko. Except she has Toko, she gets a power persona, Monofni can't believe that Noir has killed somebody. Natasha picks a little new line ridge by in various places. Monadam finds a bowling ball. Very nice. Shinyan summons their persona using Sai, attacking Toko, leaving her dazed with a splitting headache. Taichi summons his persona using Zio, leaving Mukuro shocked and dazed. Crazy Oko's bad brain takes her into an even stranger place, turning her even more unstable than ever before. Professor Layton uses the soundboard and plays Dire, Dire Docks. Mew hears the soothing music and goes to sleep. Unfortunately, she never wakes up. Yomiya slips in the mud by the river. She's uh, acting clumsy out here. Violet loves the way that rocket launcher feels on her shoulder. Panette's gone. Dasuhiko's found a table. Monica gets cocky and dies from a stupid mistake. Abuki immediately brings Komaru in for a hug. Whispers in her ear and says, You mean nothing to me. Slams Komaru to the ground. She's probably rattled. Shoma challenges Yuta and Yoimiya to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Yuta says, I still need the World Pancake Championship. And Yuta goes on to fight for it. Let's see if he's going to be able to do it. Alice finds a belt of Pokeballs. Iris doesn't really understand what's happening. Mukuro. Use a mysterious ass knockout. Crazy Oko and Yuta death callers on the both of them. And Monica has a horrible feeling in her gut. As the Archons... The Archons see great potential in Zhang Li. Grant him a Hydro Vision. <laughs> okay, Farina. I didn't know that you were really that... I didn't know you were vibing with Zhang Li like that. Who knew? I do too. But we are down to 43, a big round that time, and even bigger things may be unfurling after this. Saddest of all moments, four. Mika, Natsumi, Haiji, Jotaro, Izioi, Yelan, Pekko, March 7th, Kawakami, Mai, Katoka, Junko, Hina, Murakata, Kokichi, Panet, Gundam, Mew, and Monika. Hit the beat. 
And as the beat hits, we are down to your final 43. Almost the answer to everything, but one answer that we don't have is who's going to walk out of this game as the tag team champions. I think it's time, it's high time rather, that we find out. We got a lot of heels, a lot of new faces in play as well. New heels as well. Uh, Toko new face, but I think Toko, did Toko live? I think Toko did live actually. She's stunned right now though. But will she remain stunned? Could she potentially come back as a, a, a light bearer? That is indeed a possibility, and can she hold on to being a face until the 1 vs 100 episode next week? Ooh, fascinating. Next round sees, ooh, that's a lot of orange to start this thing, isn't it? Um, Natasha comes back, uh, Disperse Royal rather, comes back wearing a wizard robe. I think that would actually look really dope on her if she was like a wizard or a witch. Uh, with a flick of her ancient scepter, Farina turns Iris into a sheep. Monadam prepares for a strike, Iris as a sheep doesn't do much. Mitsuru ambushes the pancake champion and murders her. Monotaro doesn't really want to, but Ponzo have to get rid of a Dr. Taichi. Monokid hates the way that the comments have been treating him, and he also turns heel. A lot more heels being formed today than faces. Um, Archon C, Gripperson, and Pandreo give me Dendro, I'm uh, not Dendro, Geovision. I can read. Alice has Genocide Jack Scissors, cute boys beware. Violet puts a death call on Togami while he's asleep. Shinyan has found a Yeet Ball. Desiko sets up a table for grabbing Kobe, uh, Togami by the throat, choke slams him. Chisa, her friends, a Komodo Dragon with a pair of Aviator Goggles. AV isn't gonna like this. I don't like this. Monica steals Shinyan's Yeet Ball before running alpha with it. Abuki tries to kill Natasha, but that wears a robe. It's too much. Too much for her. Uh, Crazy Hiyoko, her bad brain, turns her into an absolute pain to deal with. Mondo comes back to his senses. Angie steals Monica's Yeet Ball. And surprisingly enough, Akane has grown a conscience and casts aside her heelish ways. Actually, <laughs> in a single round, turns to the face side. <laughs> I kind of hope Akane's rest of her game is just, in my face, in my heel, in my face, in my heel. I really hope that's how it goes. Uh, Mukuro knocks out Komaru in a fist bite. Death Call is on her. Fubuki remembers how much she misses Taichi Sops quietly. You, uh, yes, a hero. Hero. Sets the table before grabbing Shoma and a headlock. Shoma then, uh, hero then slams Shoma through a table. Kaito. Bounds a slingshot. Maybe it'll be useful. Klee can't handle the stress after losing a teammate. Becomes more cowardly. Neat. monophony has got a, race, a wrestling singlet. Oh no. That's terrifying. Toka comes back to her senses. Hook then steals Angie's Yeet Ball. Runs off with the Archon's Grip. It's one monster gram with an Electro Vision. Mikan. Can feel her energy slowly being drained. Chiaki cycles through her alien choices, doesn't use any yet. Uh, Dark Knight rolls around Panat, she's now back as a zombie. It's Thriller Knight. Uh, Gozu fires a rocket launcher at Mondo, who gets absolutely blown to bits. Yoimiya steals Hook's E ball and runs off with it. Uh, Shang Li entraps Hook <laughs> and Chis in a bubble of water until they both draw on poor Hook. Had her Yeet Ball stolen and then immediately gone. Akane sneaks up on Professor Layton, but of course, well, you know what? <laughs> Akane, you turn face and then you paid for it. Uh, Layton takes you out. Counter attacks, you're doomed. Uh, Kole wishes she could go home. Noir stops quietly. What in the world? Kamara found a chainsaw. That's dangerous. Maybe she'll get revenge on Ibuki. Uh, Naito is determined to survive this. Yuta summons a massive vines with thorns around Natasha, bleeding her dry. Uh, am I tripping? Did Celeste get out like in the first round? <laughs> Are we actually at a new champ alert? I think I am tripping. <laughs> yeah, she's been out for a minute. I forgot she got Arkeo by Nagito. So this should have played last time, but I mean, it is indeed a new champ alert. <sighs> and of course, the saddest of all moments, four. Mahiru, Taichi, Togami, Shoma, Mondo, Hook, Chisa, Akane, Natasha. Well, we'll peek at everybody's statuses then. Even though, you know, like, we just peaked. Uh, three people kicked off of their teams. Komaru, Angie, and the dead Izioi. Uh, tragic for them. Uh, let me see. Kid Rock's still completely in. Uh, Monotaro's still remaining for Hamtaro. Gamble plays off our champions. Are out for now. Uh, High Flying still has Kaito. The professional still have Zhongli. Ghostbusters have Panette as a zombie. Joe still remaining for the small companions. Praise and Aru just has Pandreo all by himself. Kicked out Angie. Live entrance has the great Gozu and Shinyan. Couples counseling still has Yuta holding on hope for their team, but you never count out Yuta. Mikon's trapped in the despair dimension. Masaru has an Electrovision. Could go clutch. Uh, Toko, for so the story goes, anything for her completely in. 
Mukuro's days, but they are completely in. Uh, royal family still has Klee. Stop looking. Listen, has Abuki all by her healer self. Uh, Nayuto and Yoimi is still in there for where they smoke. Mitsuru for sick wheels. Violet for, fin uh, for fantastic gymnastics. Uh, Flower power is completely in as well. Could bring home a title for Dadu. Tipping the scale still has Chiaki and Farina could bring home uh, bring one home for the phenomenal Tiki. Just Monica still has Monica. And Crystal Clear is completely in, which is shocking to me. But maybe their outlook is going to be absolutely glorious. Big Gremlin Energy has Crazy Yoko, my pick for the game. She's still in. She could still do it. Fubuki for time and space. Iris, who also turned heel early on, is still hanging in there. Laser Focus has Kole. And lastly, no, nobody else. So we will proceed that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what else unfolds. A lot of heels, a lot of potential factions could be formed as we click next round to see. Uh, Chiaki transforms into an alien with a body as hard as diamond. Chiaki then proceeds to headbutt Fubuki and Mitsuru, killing them both. Monotaro is sick and tired of playing heel. I'm sorry, playing nice and then turns heel and pays the price for it. Zhongli kills him. <laughs> Zhongli's like, huh, so this is what a vision feels like. Hydro, huh? I kind of like it. What's the surface behind him? Monotaro slips and breaks his neck. Monophony practices her grappling. Professor Layton presses the button on my soundboard, and Samurai Woman plays, and it's gonna be the sick version. Oh, delightful. Monica steals Yoimiya's Z-Ball and runs off with it as Violet can no longer stay still and let others kill her friends. Violet is now feeling heroic. Yoimiya has seen the heels running wild. She wants to do something about it, and she also turns face. Yoimiya. And now... Pandreo traps Shinyan's feet with stones. Kole's ready for target practice, finds a laser gun. Yuta causes blooms in the pond, the great Gozo and Komaru are fighting and they explode, killing them both. Crazy Oko is in trouble with her cry laugh or tear her out, uh, hair, 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 her hair out. I don't know why her hair out is a tongue twister for me, but it is a samurai woman for everyone. Shinyan, the struggle in the trap, she's now bleeding out. It was, you didn't have to struggle, you were in there for like eight seconds. Monster who summons a shock so powerful it fries Angie alive. Hero steals Monica's Yee Ball, runs off with it. Noir hates the way that the dust collar feels on her skin. Kaito gathers ammo for a slingshot. Oh, dope, Farina just found a fishing rod. She can catch Kaito the fish. <laughs> I guess it might be fitting. She's the Hydro Archon. She doesn't really need to catch the fish. She might just go in and catch him uh, with her bare hands. Kaito is stunning Nagito. He's dazed. Toko summons her persona. He's Bufu, trapping Zhongli's feet in ice. Klee then sees Zhongli trapped. And promptly stabs him repeatedly with a tree branch. Oh my gosh, Klee, goodness gracious. Um, Iris glances away as a sheep, a sad look in her eyes. Abuki accepts her shadow as Abuki gains the fire of Persona. Alice talks out a Pokeball. Out comes Halucha, who's just flying press, taking out Kaito. Mikan avoids the dark trees, who reach out to grab her. Panette's body continues to rot, even as she continues to move. Um, Mukuro knocks out Hero in a fist fight, puts a dust on them. Monikid and Yoimiya Monikid and Yoimiya corner Monadam, but Monadam pulls out his bowling ball, rolling it into Monikid's neg leg, crashing him into Yoimiya, knocking them both off of a nearby cliff. Monikid, he's got that 7 10 split done. Monica looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Joe knocks out Monster in a fist fight. Death Collar's on him. And with that Death Collar, we do have one majority vote. And it knocks out my pick. <laughs> so I hate it. As Desihiko, Noir, Hiro, Yuta, Crazy Yoko, and Master were all forced to play the majority game, Noir received the most votes and was executed as well as a sacrifice. Crazy Hyoko. Very nice. <laughs> that being said, it is still a terrible turnabout. Saddest of all moments for Fubuki, Mitsuru, Monotaro, The Great Gozu, Komaru, Angie, Zhang Li, Kaito, Monokid, Yoimiya, Noir, Crazy Hiyoko. 22 left titles on the line. Yuta survives for the Asians of Chaos. Will we see a Chaos transferal? That's something that could still happen. Yuta, I, I imagine Yuta's the first person to cause the Chaos Transferal. I think that'd be pretty neat. It would be a kind of Yuta thing to do, however. 
We gotta proceed to see if it happens. 22 left, 12 more into your save in Grace Picks and until the top 10, but let's see if we get there with the next round. Uh, probably not. Uh, Xingqiu's corpse is writhing with Magus. Mukro snaps out of it. Yuta wraps vines around Masaru, trying to wrap up their whole body. Masaru is actually trapped. He is trapped. Xingyan is trapped and slowly bleeding out. Mikan fights for her life. Klee feels horrible for what she did. Uh, well, she's gonna pray. She's gonna pay the price for it and deliver <laughs> via the foot of Monophony. Uh, Pandreo summons a shield, protecting him from Joe's attack. Monadam becomes a light bearer. Look at that. Light bearer is in, and Monadam is the one who could bring some people with him. Monica pushes Alice into an icy lake. Alice freezes solid. Professor Layton finds a dapper suit and puts it on. It's rather fetching. Uh, everybody who he kills from this point forward goes with them to the finale. So it's late game, but from this point forward. Uh, Monica pushes Alice to a uh, icy lake. Alice frees a solid. Professor Layden finds a dapper suit and puts on his rather fetching. Iris is a sheep, grazes peacefully. Uh, Monophony delivers a super kick straight to the center Farina, decapitates her upon discovering the new power of her legs. Super kicks Klee, Chiaki, Toko, and Monica. Goodness gracious, as Kole is now ready for target practice, finds a handgun saying, I might need this. Monster is still trapped, screams for help, but nobody answers. Uh, I feel like the a couple of people who would go and save you have been kicked in the face and decapitated. Hero scores a big touchdown, 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 touch. <laughs> but that dangles her withered limbs around. Violet scans the arena, looking for enemies lurking about. Nagito comes back to a census, and Ibuki summons her persona, uses Agi, scorching Yuta's back. We are down to now 15. Five. Not five. <laughs> seven are actually gone this run, and those seven face a saddest of all moments. Four. Joe. Alice, Farina, Klee, Chiaki, Toko, Monica. And now, 15. I think you know pretty much who the 15 are, but once again, we could have revivals, we could have all sorts of shenanigans. Will they go on to see these shenanigans? Let's find out. 15 remain. Next round sees. Ooh, a zombie is in place. You don't. Wasn't ready for this winter weather. Panat gets a hold of Ibuki's leg and bites her, turning into a zombie. Panat, <clears throat> now think about trying to get the zombie victory. Monadam looks like she's on the verge of snapping. Kole finds herself face to face with Mukuro, shoots her dead with her gun. Monophony then suplexes Desuko, then suplexes him again and again and again until he is perished. Desuko's gone. Uh, let me see. Hero doesn't really prepare for any of this. Iris is a sheep boss softly. Ibuki continues to rot even as she continues to move. Pandreo accepts the shadows. Pandreo gains a power persona late game, <clears throat> but he may be able to make use of it. Mikan feels her energy slowly being drained. Nagito feels defeated after losing their teammate. They feel lonely. Nagito has let him in. Lane is proud of his dap pursuit. Iris finds my climate change remote again, so late in the game? Uh-oh. Shingyan finally dies from the blood loss caused by the trap that she was caught in. Pandreo and T not Chie, I'm sorry, Kole. Now both have death collars on them, thanks to Masaru, and Gundam still dead. Mikan still surviving in the despair dimension. We do now have two zombies. Panette is the alpha zombie. Could she claim victory or will Ibuki bite a whole bunch of people and really be the standout zombie to win this game? I'm not sure, but it's the saddest of all moments for. Mukuro, Desahiko, Shinya. One more until you're saving Grace Picks. We will probably get that one more very soon. However, will we see seasons change? Will we see uh, the, the thing malfunction? We just gotta go on. We have to proceed. It's been a, a, a rather quick, speedy game, surprisingly enough. And next round sees, uh, we will not see it. Oh, no, we actually do see a change, <laughs> shockingly enough. Monofi trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking her neck after your, your smooth moves with your legs. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There might be, ooh, I wonder how far we're going to get. Uh, Violet misses the spooks, uh, spooks, rather, and jump scares, changes the arena climate change remote to October. The spooks are back. Monadam then drops his bowling band, a uh, bowling butt, that bowling ball on Violet's head while she sleeps. Big ol' yikes. Nagito jumps in a pile of leaves, unfortunately the leaves are covering a pit. Nagito falls in and perishes. Uh, Hero is in line for a pumpkin spice latte. Pandreo pets Iris, <laughs> who is a sheep. Professor Layton and Kole are in a costume contest. Layton is dressed as a ninja while Kole dresses as the Reaper, same as every year. Kole slices Professor Layton with her slice, slice, uh, as same as every year. Killing him. Uh, Panette's still dangling her withered limbs around. Abuki is decomposing as she continues to move. Iris is a sheep and doesn't do much. Masu 
was struggling the trap and cut himself pretty bad, he's now bleeding out. Yuta visits the pumpkin patch outside of Yoko's items and misfortunes. You fiend picks up a blue ribbon pumpkin. Keep that in mind. He could bring somebody back that is technically a revival item. They could come back <laughs> as the headless horse homie. Imagine the headless horse homie comes back and wins the game. Kola aims her handgun in the distance. We are down now to your final seven. We'll make those saving grace picks after this final saddest of all moments for. Monophony, Violet, Nagito, Professor Layton. Well. We're about to have our final tag team champions of the Year of the Radiance. Is something else that we have to say. However... You're about to get your, not your final saving grace picks of the Year of the Radiance, because there is one episode on New Year's Eve. It'll be our last singles episode for the OCs. That being said, hey, you wanted those saving grace picks. I'll give you those. Saving grace picks. Remember, titles on the line. Crystal Clear could come away with this one. Will it be Hero? Coming through, he's been peaceful. He he's not he is peaceful, but he did take out uh, he did take out Shoma. Uh, he's got a rocket launcher still, and he has autumn breezing through his hair. Mikon's trapped in the despair dimension. He's gonna have to get out to claim victory. Will she be able to do it? We've seen people do it before. Uh, Couples Counting still has Yuta, who's been going wild. He has the revival item of the pumpkin. Could he bring back one of his own teammates as the headless horse homie? Iris, too sweet, is a sheep. Could she get a sheep victory? And is she separated from her teammate? Now, here's the thing. If she, as a sheep who's separated from her teammate, she would still win with her team. She would still win with her team unless uh, she finds a heal faction. If she finds a heal faction, then she and that fellow heal win the titles instead. That's the, uh, that's the specialty there. We could see a little bit of uh, chaos here. Um, but... I go on, I digress. Speaking of, we do have a heal here as well. Pandreo, Praise and Aru still in here, has really glocked up a whole bunch of stuff. The Collar, the Persona, uh, Garu, uh, Geovision, Rocket Launcher, he's kind of cooking out here. Keep in mind Pandreo. As we scroll down, we have Kole, who's still our sharpshooter with a scythe. Could she send more people to the Despair Dimension? We have Ibuki still hanging in there, but she's a zombie. She's gonna have to get more zombie KOs to potentially be the alpha zombie and the alpha zombie winner of this game because staying in her way is Panette who's down here as a zombie as well. She's the alpha and she's the one who turned to Buki. She's got one zombie turn. If she turns, if she's the last, if only zombies stand and she has the most zombie KOs or there's a tie, she's the first one, she'd be the one to get the titles. Boy Sleepover sees Masaru who is bleeding out. <laughs> but man, could he do it. As we scroll down, we also still see Monadam, who is the light bearer. He is the light bearer. Could he somehow, some way, get some KOs? The only thing is, he's got some work to do. He's got some work to do. Let's see if he's able to do just that. And I think that's all of the saving grace picks we have. That being said, keep in mind, he would bring Violet to the finale. Outside of the split, Violet is the one who he did take out, so he could bring Violet to the finale. Will he do it? We'll see. Violet could be representing her team solo in the finale. Make your saving grace picks first, second, third. I'll make mine as well. For first, I'm gonna say it's actually going to be Pandreo. I think heal Pandreo is not something I ever expected to say out loud, but you know what? I think he might be able to do it as a heal. He said, get out of here, Angie, but wants to do it on his own. Uh, for second, I'm gonna take... Admittedly, Panette for the zombie victory, something in my soul is screaming to me, it's gonna be the zombies! And for third, I'm gonna take Yuta because I don't think you ever count out the Asahinas. It's, it could be another season of the Asahina situation. That being said, the situation is about to be over. I've made my picks. You make yours in the comments. I'll give you a second. Your second's over. But now, it is your final seven. Seven competitors, one more shot we have Kole Yuta Masaru Iris the Sheep Pandreo Hero Monadam for the tag team titles seven competitors one 
opportunity, one moment to make theirs, one team will stand tall with the same pulse, the same determination, and perhaps even the same radiant glow as that of a samurai woman. Final seven, could it all end? It won't all end, but I think we see another zombie turn down there. We see Iris is a sheep, Monadam and Kole jump and pause the leaders around the arena. Dark Ninja swirls around Mew's body reanimating her as a corpse. Yuta carves his pumpkin to a classic jack-o'-lantern that makes it the revival item. Mikan's grabbed and possessed by trees, pulled apart piece by piece, Monster was trapped, slowly beating out. Kole feels unstoppable with her laser gun, Panette's dangling her withered, really limb, the withered limbs around. Now keep this in mind, Abuki gets a hold of Pandreo's leg, bites him, turns him into a zombie. If Abuki somehow gets another zombie bite and Panette doesn't, and it's a zombie victory, she is the big zombie on campus and wins the tag team titles. Keep those in mind. Hero somehow, uh, somehow rather finds a suit of medieval armor, puts it on, gleams with dazzling shine, and lastly, Pandreo is now a zombie as well. If he gets to, he's still in the zombie race too, but it's all about can the zombies win? We're starting to see a zombie overhaul, we have four of them now. Or rather, three and one ghost. And it's technically the saddest of all moments, four. No, it's technically a terrible turnabout, four. Mikan. Even though she's technically been out of the game for a minute, but we'll give it to her. We'll give her her due, her respect. She is a Hall of Famer, but you know what else is going on? It's still your final six, so it's still Samurai Woman. I have a feeling it's not going to be Samurai Woman for very long, but let's see how this plays out. The thing is, keep in mind your Agents of Chaos have one alive person and one ghostly person, so their odds are drastically increasing, especially if Mew is able to possess somebody. And next round... Oh, their odds are getting bigger and bigger as Monadam decides to put Iris out of her sheepy misery. Mew passes around uh, through various objects to pass the time. Kole says, no light bearer win for you. Monadam, you're as close as they can get. Uh, shoots several white hot holes in her uh, in his body with a laser gun. Buki dangles those withered limbs around. Ooh, wait a minute. We're real close to the end now. Uh, Yuda chucks their pumpkin into the sky. It plummets onto Kole's head, killing her. Uh, Hero has found a table. Pandreo continues to rot even as he continues to move. Masaru finally dies from the bloodlust caused by the trap that he was caught in. Uh, Dark Souls rolls around Kiz uh, Kizakura's body. He's back as a ghost as well. We have two ghosts in play, Mew and Kizakura. And lastly, Panette dangles her withered limbs around her rotting limbs, fiddling with them. We are down four now. Four more gone, and just like that, we're to your final two. Technically, it is a battle between Yuta and a battle between uh, Kole. Shocking final two, but with all these ghosts and zombies in play, it's gonna be an interesting, terrible turnabout for Iris, Monadam, Kole, Masaru. Never mind, Kole's dead. Who's the other person? Oh, it's Hero. Hero's still alive. That's crazy to me. <laughs> it's Hero and it's Yuta. Oh my gosh! Hey, you know what? Hero, get out here and cook! So now I guess I, I guess I have to, to ask you guys one more question and one question alone. And that is... Well, uh... Who will it be? It is a battle between Yuta, Hero, and a whole bunch of zombies. <laughs> That's the big ticket item here. We have Crystal Clear and we have Couples Counseling. Will it be Couples Counseling? Will it be Imagine? If it's Couples Counseling, we actually get a Chaos Transferal. But with all these ghosts and zombies in play, I don't know who it's going to be. I'm kind of excited to find out who it's going to be, so I won't dilly and dally too long. But I will say, will it be Couples Counseling? Jataro, Yuta, and Mew. Will it be Crystal Clear, Aiba, Professor Layton, and Hero? Let's proceed and let's find out. Or will they both die? Will it be zombies? Will it be ghosts? Will we see revivals? Let's see what unfolds, what unfurls. As the next round shows us our fate as... <gasps> 
it would have been Yuta's. And it still could be Yuta's, but I'll scroll down. And I want to point out that technically it is Yuta's. <laughs> no matter what, unless some more shenanigans happen. Because Abuki and Panet both rotting around. Kizakura kills Hiro through ghastly means. Keep this in mind. Mew, tag team partner of Yuta is now in control of Alice's body. Technically, right now, it is Yuta and Mew as the final two. But Alice is the one who is in possession. I feel like this should this should almost count as the team working together to get the W, but with all these zombies and such, we gotta keep on going. Chiaki's back as a ghost. Violet has been zombified. Pandreo's body continues to decompose even as he continues to move. And the Archon Secret Revolution on Yuta grant him a pyro vision. We are down another two. First of all, it's a terrible turnabout for Hero. And technically Mew, who's now per, uh, possessing Alice. But now at this point, we have to see if Alice is the one who wins, making some co-champions and some other, some other shenanigans. Co-champions along with... Chaos Transferal. Right now, un unless we see zombie shenanigans or any other ghost shenanigans, we have a 100% chance of a Chaos Transferal. That being said, will it happen? Because there's so many ghosts, so many zombies, six of them. What will unfurl next round sees? Toko's back as a ghost. Pandreo. His body continues to decompose. Yuta spots on the shiny distance. Alice inside a Piplub. They splash in the river together. Nothing really unfurls as Toko also comes back as a ghost. This is this is high stress because the longer you two don't take each other out, the more likely it is that we will not see you guys, Mew and Yuta, come through. Next round sees. Oh, look at that. First of all, Toko is like, all right, all right, all right. Let me get to work. Possesses Natasha. And then Alice, possessed by Mew, says, no, no. Sit down, be humble. Takes out Natasha, says, it's still going to be me and Yuta. But is Yuta still alive? If we scroll down, is Yuta still in this match? <gasps> oh my gosh. Yuta finds the corpse of Kawakami, cuts off her head and replaces with a jack-o'-lantern. Kaw uh, Kawakami inexplicably rises from the dead as the headless horse homie. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is Alice, it is Yuna, and it is the headless horse homie Kawakami. Oh my. Next round sees, I'm gonna scroll down. Right now we have a definitive winner, but will we see zombie shenanigans right now? Chiaki misses me of dinner. The Buki dangles a wizard limb with the withered limbs around. Kizakura plays around with his incorporeal body. Pandreo's body continues to ride as he continues to move. Panette's also withering those limbs. Violet's body continues to ride as she continues to move. Ooh, it is over. They did it. Alice challenges Kawakami Nui to an anything goes pancake eating competition. And for the second time this episode, Yuta says, Sit down, be humble. I'm earning entry into this pancake championship match. But hey, this time, let me make sure that I don't just earn entry into a match. Let me make history again. Murders the both of these competitors eating a single pancake, earning entry not just to the World Pancake Championship Invitational, but also earning the first ever Chaos Transfer. Oh my gosh. If it was going to be anyone, it was going to be the one. And so after this, a final terrible turnabout for Alice Kawakami. This is history. At the end of the Year of the Radiance, this is history. In all these 15 seasons, this is history. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he did it. Your Agents of Chaos did it. They also earned you a fan vote they did it. Your winners. They were your Agents of Chaos. 
the whole season they've been saying, oh, those dang champions. They reigned it today. They had an opera. They already had their spot in the championship match, but they said, no, no. We're walking into the new year as champions. The title that's evaded her for so long. Of course, she's not world pancake champion, but she is one of these tag team titles for the long, the longest time. She's wanted a happy marriage for the longest time, and Jotaro... Oh my gosh, Jotaro. Jotaro won another tag team championship with another team. Oh my gosh. There's so much to talk about with what's going on right here, but the most that I can say is your winner and new tag team champions, Yuta, Mew, Jotaro, Couples Counseling. And I guess that's not all that I can say, because even though there's history with those three competitors, there's also history with three more competitors, because your former champions are feeling a little chaotic now. Although it is very, very late in the season, it ain't over just yet. And so while that tag team last stand will happen next week, there will be potentially chaos brewing because your winners, or rather your losers, losing the titles and now sick of seeing the Asians of Chaos, the ones who caused them to lose these titles, hold on to those titles, it's brimming anger within them. Rage, despair, they want what's theirs. They want to see them lose and now they're embracing the chaos themselves because you're winners and I'm sorry, not winners, you're new tag team agents of chaos Celeste Yelon and Palara Nightmare will try to be nightmares for couples counseling. What a way to end off the year. <laughs> like, for real. If you gave me a million dollars and said, oh, yeah. At the end of the year, we'll have our first ever Chaos Transfer and Couples Counseling, the team that is like full of Hall of Famers, a current Hall of Famer and two future Hall of Famers for sure, for, for guarantee at this point. Um, Yuta is the Tag Team All-Star. He is the Tag Team All-Star. Yuta's held that Tag Team Championship countless times. That's that guy. That's that man. He makes teams. He puts people on the map. But you know who's held so much gold Yuta as well? He is... You never count out the Asahinas, and here, at the end of the year of the Radiance, they make history, they have a defining career moment, and perhaps, they don't need counseling anymore. Jotaro says, my work here is done, because now we are tag team champions. Yuta with six KOs, and, and did it at the end, taking out Alice, and Kawakami saying, alright, this is this is too much. And maybe Alice, who's possessed by Mew, planned for this, saying, hey, take us both out. Yuta says, I love you, Mew. Who would have thunk? They might have to have a mixed tag team match over in the AWE. I have to talk to Wednesday B about that. Um, Nofi was six KOs, Mew was five. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Eleven kills between the two of them. Tataro, where are you? Did you have a bunch too? Did you have any? Who knows? Who do it doesn't matter. You're tag team champion again. Kole with four, Monadam with four, uh, Zhongli with three, Desiko with three, Chiaki with three, everyone else with two or less. Let's bring up that bracket. It is your new tag team champions and earning you guys a fan vote. There they are. Who would have thunk? First time you was held the tag team title, tag team gold, now added to her repertoire. Congratulations to her. That's all I can really say. And did it with her husband, did it with her couple's counselor as well. 
Who would have thunk? Uh, and keep in, keep in mind, you know, we now have new tag team agents of chaos. Who would have, would chaos transfer? Year of the Radiance, in the very last Ortiel game, brings us a Chaos Transferal. Wow. Ain't life grand. <laughs> Even when you think you've seen it all, it still surprises you a little bit. Hey. I think we're just gonna take off. This I don't want this episode to be too, like, over over an hour, but get ready. This Sunday, New Year's Eve, we will have one singles OC match. Will Chaos reign? Who knows? We'll see. Legault. Def well, will we see Legault, rather, defend that OC championship? Who knows? Who knows? I'm excited to see if it goes down. See what goes down. We'll see soon. But until then, uh, Trails comes back tomorrow. We took a week off from Trails, or rather Sunday, Saturday, we took a week off from Trails. Uh, so that Wednesday we could have the platform last week for the fight before Christmas with us back this week. Gambling <laughs> and trails. Uh, Saturday he's been freaking out over. He's like, look at what I've done. Look at what I can do. <laughs> he's he's crazy. He's he's kind of nuts out here. But once again, congratulations to your new tag team champions, Couples Counseling. I will see you guys next week for one versus 100 in singles action. Toodaloo, Flight Crew. Thank you for watching. <laughs>